Welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we're going to be looking at all the Ark Survival Evolved upcoming features that is meant to be coming to the game after the Extinction DLC is released. Now some of this stuff could be released within the Extinction DLC as well. Lots of it has been around for a while, some of it's been removed and some of it's been added and it's really exciting to always check out some of the new features that will be coming with the game. Now, obviously, we get tomorrow, we get the update Extinction Chronicles 5, which is the last Extinction Chronicles, and then in two weeks' time, we will be getting the official Extinction DLC. I think it's like two and a half weeks, it's November the 6th, so I'm so, so hyped for that, and there's going to be loads of videos coming. But if you are hyped about what's seeing, well, seeing what is the future with Ark Survival Evolved, what's to come, and talking about some mods at the end of the video, smash a like on today's video. Let's try and smash over 500 likes, and also make sure to be subscribed if you're not subscribed already because as I said there is so much extinction content coming your way including the series you have all been waiting for but anyway let's get on with the video bear in mind some of this stuff may already be in the game I think they've now officially removed everything that is already in the game now I'm just going to be reading through the list and you guys can talk about some of the best hyped things the last time I did this video was a few months ago I always do it like um, throughout the year of Ark Survival Evolved just to update you guys with what's been removed, what's been cancelled and what is still coming. So let's get straight in with things right now. So this is the items page. They have tools, they have like, you know, weather conditions and stuff coming. So gaslight lanterns, indoor lighting, some light tier between standing torches and lamppost, flashlight, reinforced stone box, Hitching posts and leashes, maybe. Now, that one has been there for so long, guys. Like, I think this has been here for a year, and I just don't ever see this coming. I feel like a lot of the things that say maybe, as is what Wildcard have, like, don't want to rule out, but that, you know, um, it's still, a, a, you know, it's a possibility that it could come to the game. Now, tech tier, a few of these things have been added, but um, surveillance equipment, cloaking devices, multi-HUD visor, um, magnifying glass for distance with more stat and info, wall banners, which is like flags hanging from walls, um, and, you know, a lot of the stuff, unfortunately, with this page was, you know, has just been here for ages, and that's the similar thing with the sponsored mod program. Um, you guys know with the sponsored mod program on Ark Survival Evolved, they released it, like, way over a year ago, and not really anything but the center and Ragnarok has been added in. The center was added in before the sponsor mod program came around and then the sponsor mod prog program came out. Ragnarok was added to the console but there hasn't been really anything else at all. Now, as you guys can see, um, some tools here, you've got heat vision, shotgun, beanbag ammo, a war horn, electrical um, key keyboard, and then a xylophone. This, again, has been what I've been talking about for ages. We, you know, people in Ark Survival Evolve, we've wanted more, you know, I instruments and stuff in the game. I know it's not anything crazy or anything new, but it's just funny stuff. And there's only been the war drums in the game for so long now, and um, I just don't know when we're going to be seeing more of this, because I think think out of the all of the upcoming features this has been on the page the longest out of everything because I remember the first time I ever did a video on the upcoming features page which has got to be a good two years ago and these have been on there ever since guys so it's crazy to think how long these have not even been thought about um, so I can't say anything on these um, weapons, you've got knives, coloured smoke grenade, disease trap, tripwire doors, tech tier, we've already got plasma sabres, a tracking bullet, laser tripwire, EMP weapon to disable electrical devices, torpedoes, so that's obviously everything that's on the weapon side. Now, bear in mind, um, coming behind, uh, you know, coming back to tools and weapons, um, that a lot more could is going to be announced with the Extinction DLC. So some things may be taken from this and added in into Extinction, but a lot of the stuff won't be listed on this because they're keeping all of the stuff hidden and they're just announcing things as they went. Now, um, Extinct. Uh, if you guys remember when Aberration was released, none of that was on here either, and that's because with their DLCs, they don't want to leak too much, so they don't put them onto these websites. So the next thing is armor and clothing. We've had this for a while as well dinosaur armor, 
and dino mounted cannons for primitive and the ability to add armor to a training dummy. Dinosaur armor was one of the most hyped things last year, still yet to be added, but hasn't been removed. You have to bear in mind that a lot of the stuff, which the one thing that was really confusing is some of the things that have been already added into Ark, they didn't remove off this page, but some of the stuff that, that was on here and then they decided, you know, we're going to get rid of because that's never going to come, has been removed. So I don't know if they're just being lazy or something. I know this is a wiki, which is so other people can edit it as well, but why will Card always monitor this and make sure nothing's on there that shouldn't be on there and whatever is is get, gets removed basically so structures we've got half walls again something i've wanted for so long um but yet to have any information on colorization pass on older structures flipping sloped walls upside down wall mounted coal for base decoration and dynamic length bridges now if you guys have you know watched my videos or have just been an original arc player right from the start you will know that dynamic length bridges have been a thing for so long they were first announced for arc version 245 now if you're someone that's playing now that is a long time ago that is a lot of updates then when this was first announced and um, everyone was so hyped because you're going to be able to build bridges then apparently just something was going wrong with the mechanics and then it was um it was pushed back to another update then pushed back to another update then it wasn't talked about for ages then it was announced that it was going to be coming out again then it was announced it was going to be coming out again and then just went quiet and we haven't heard about this for you know, just forever. Like, it's ridiculous, some of these things. Consumables, you've got bread and jam, laxatives and coffee. Laxatives is something which I just think would be crazy if that was in Ark Survival Evolved, yet there's been no progression on that. And I really would like to see a Naked Zombo video on that, like when he does um, his funny, like, trolling videos on Ark, but we'll have to see there. Environment, more underwater um, harvestables, more seeds and making seeds only appear in certain biomes. On the map, additional um, caverns and biome development for the center. Um, the center has kind of been, I mean, there was a lot added to it, but it's like they're just, it's been kind of forgotten about. Um, and you guys know, really, with Arc Survival Evolved, World Card's main focus right now is on um, um, is on extinction. And when this is released, they're going to have such a, you know, huge hyped release date for us. It's going to be coming out. It's going to be great, but it's like there's like no love anymore for the old maps and just my main dislike what I like vision I want to find out what is happening after extinction it's it feels like there's just like extinction is their only vi like vision I don't even know what word to use but it's very strange um the sunken obelisk with underwater boss there's rumors this is going to be an extinction thing we've been talking about this for the past year as well um and, and a lot of people thought this was going to be aberration but apparently it could potentially be an extinction addition um hail and other weather uh, weather cycles and maybe a rough sea now this is something um we've talked about in an older video uh, we talked about the weather different weather updates for arc um i'm pretty annoyed that this has never been like you know been like worked on a lot i would have thought it would have been great just in the you know before it even came out of early access just to have some you know a rough sea where the waves are a bit stronger like when there's bad weather and arc survival evolved but we haven't seen any of that either um Game mechanics, me um, mechanized transportation system, potential airships and airship bases. Now this was actually removed and then they added it back in, which is very strange. I made a video last year again on this and this was then removed and then brought back up. So maybe there's still potential on this. And the reason why there is potential in a lot of this stuff is because of what's going on with tech at the moment. And we're actually going on to earth for the final DLC. So a lot of this can link to the extinction DLC. You guys got to think about that. Naming items, carrying weapon and torch together, tribe leveling. Now, alliance rankings and privileges. Remember, a lot of this could have been added in. Um, I'm just reading through it as much as possible. So if you hear something, you're like, that's already in the game. It's because Wildcard haven't removed it off yet. Um, localized injuries and bleeding and bandages. Hold breath while in scope function. Ability to stop babies from growing with using tech tier. Um, I think you can use a setting for that already. Craft from remote inventories, i.e. using resources um, of a storage box directly instead of transfer them first. Auto flight slash run key. More creature tracking options. Use of map slash GPS while mounted on water creatures. 
Now we've got some behavior here. So carnivores more active at dusk and dawn. Um, and this is already been fixed, a fix to the Tyrannodon spazzy nature. They have, haven't, ha well, they, they fixed a lot of this, um, which is where it like sometimes flies through the map and everything. Now, I'm not sure if it happens as much. I know this still happens with a lot of dinos and it always is going to be just because that's the mechanics, but I know they worked on this. The giant turtle will have the ability to retract into their shells. Again, small things like this never were added and that's again something that has been in here for over a year. And now this was actually a newer thing, um, um, but then, well, in, into this actual uh, upcoming features, but then it like, you know, it's always been talked about, it's been removed, as I said, but it got added in again recently, but they still haven't done anything on it, so it makes no sense. Possible sibling boost, alarm trap can cycle aggression on nearby dinos, possible breeding stat, dino support of arbitrary gear, um, on the scope, roaring feature for all dinosaurs, now this was edited again a while back, um, so a lot has been added in with that, a sound pass, um, footprints um, has already been worked on, different sounds for walking on different surfaces, which has been worked on already, um, creatures, alpha herbivores, now that is the final one that has been left on there, um, and still nothing really has been done with this, um, Another thing you guys wouldn't know is there used to be an unreleased creatures on the dino dossiers. Now, Wildcard didn't re um, get rid of this, but they got rid of the dino dossiers unreleased page, which is very strange. Um, I don't know if they're going to be bringing it back for extinction. That's hopefully something they will do. But currently, this is still not being um, changed onto the game. But Alpha Herbivores is still definitely in their vision. Um, a, a skittish command for creatures. Um, improved server browser, separate um, using key while mounted, and again, the one thing that has never been released is the disk edition, which is already obviously here, and Arc Primal Survival. Now, there's something I need to talk about Primal Survival because I actually mentioned it in a video not that long ago. And Primal Survival, if we click on that now, um, I don't even know. Oh, yes, the page is actually still here. Um, and uh, you can see the dates. So it's an upcoming total conversion for Arc Survival Evolved. It was announced E3 2016 and planned for, um, f um, and, and then it was um, delayed uh, until February 2017, but it is now currently delayed until an unknown um, date. Now, recently I did a video talking about Primal Survival and Arc Survival Evolved um, and, um, and just saying like, and they, they're still working on it and stuff, um, saying it's gonna be coming to the game, and but it's on the back burner. Now, if you guys go onto Wildcard's YouTube channel, they've actually removed the trailer for Primal Survival, and the only way you can find it now is where, or is on like different game like companies' websites and stuff. And I think it'll be on my channel somewhere, um, where like you know game shops and things have like released it onto like the, when you know in like IGN or something released another trailer. It's still on things like that, but Wildcard have removed it themselves, and this was actually a recent thing. So, I don't know right now whether this is going to be something that's going to be coming back because Wildcard did say recently in a tweet that it's still just on the back burner. So, it's in their plans. But is, that, is this something they're going to go back to after Extinction? If they've removed the trailer, is it looking that likely? It doesn't seem that way. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully in 2019, after Extinction is released, we're going to get a bit more of a vision of the game. But let's not talk about this now. Let's focus on the Extinction DLC. You guys have a little bit of news about what is coming later on. Some Still some upcoming features which haven't been released yet. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to smash the like on the video. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. If we could hit over that 500 uh, like mark, it would be fantastic. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.